morning, got my loves. Hello. Happy Friday, it's Friday for me today. So you will, fingers crossed, hopefully be watching this on Sunday. And I'm just popping on some Elizabeth Arden. My teeth are brushed, trusty Elizabeth Arden is on. I've had, I've had my nails done. I've had a pedicure. I've toned my hair and I'm not sure if I can tell that much or is it just because it's freshly washed? It feels nice. It was with this glaze gloss. I think it's a super colour conditioning gloss. It says for brunettes, however the back, can you see, that's what I saw. And that's kind of what my hair was looking like and it was meant to give it a little bit of a freshen up and it's called Vanilla Lights which I think is kind of what I needed. I needed to sort of neutralise the orangeness, the orangey brassiness that was coming through in my hair that I would have just typically have just gone to the hairdressers to do. But this hair health growth journey, I'm trying not to go to the hairdressers and bleach my hair as much. I'm still going for trims and things like that to keep it in its best condition. But yeah, I just thought I'd give that a go. It is bright, bright blue. So a bit of a bit of a warning. It will stay in your hands, but nothing that can't come off in the shower which is what I did yesterday. I had my everything shower, I felt good, I came out, I moisturised, popped on a layer of tan which is the medium shade of Isle of Paradise and I'm thinking I might do another one just to like give it a little bit more of a golden colour. But I wanted to start this vlog today because we've got some exciting things going on. By the time you're watching this I will be in Lisbon in Portugal which I am so so excited for. I'm actually going away with Josh's family and we're going to celebrate his dad's 50th birthday which is such an exciting thing to do to go make some memories I'm really 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 excited about because last year I was actually meant to go on holiday with them to Egypt and that didn't happen because I was in the process for the Mamma Mia ITV I Have a Dream TV program situation for the chance to win the role of Sophie in Mamma Mia in the West End and I was quite far in the process and I had done all the auditions I needed to up until the point of preparing to pack to go away at four o'clock in the morning in a couple of hours time I got an email saying that I was through to the next final couple of rounds and that I would be auditioning in front of the producers the casting team the ITV team everyone at the Novella Theatre in London and everything was sort of being filmed which was really really exciting and just an opportunity that I couldn't I couldn't pass up so it was horrible I was so so sad and I felt so guilty but I knew it was the right thing and his parents were just so supportive everyone was so supportive that was over my birthday and I spent my birthday on my own in London auditioning it was a different birthday that's for sure one that I won't forget so I am really really excited to be going away with them this weekend we're doing a three night four day city break to Lisbon I'm just so excited about I need to pack I need to plan my outfit I've kind of already planned my outfits already and yeah I just need to make sure I've got everything sorted the main sort of premise of the holiday is that the boys are playing golf and me and Sally, Josh's mum, we are just going to have a little relax, a spa break. We're going to go explore and just have a bit of R&R &R, which is very much needed after January being a bit, ugh, February being a bit and now it's getting into March which is the best month of the year because it's my birthday month. Anyway I am rambling. Rupert's actually at the groomers which I need to go get. I need to leave in the next five minutes but I wanted to give you a little bit of a Invisalign update and in between all of this it's a little bit chaotic this morning. I am shooting on a new camera. It's a camera that blew up towards the end of last year. It was all over my TikTok and I just thought let's bite the bullet, try it out. I'm going to take it to Lisbon with me. It was advertised as a content creator's camera dream it's so small honestly in comparison it is the size of my Lizzie Arden 8 hour and it's so small and it's so it's so techy and I just hope that it's coming out well otherwise I will be going back to my original Sony camera but anyway I am about to change over my aligners I usually do this the night before but I'm doing it this morning and I'm actually now on tray we're on tray six out of 33 so is that almost halfway practically halfway and I know this is gonna ache this is going to ache so much okay I'm gonna have a little bit of a lisp oh, I, oh. <laughs> can you see she's got some new chosen so yeah I actually went to the orthodontist yesterday and I had to get my little elastic attachments I don't know if you can I don't know if you can see them there it's not the nicest thing to look at so I don't know why I shoved the camera in my mouth then but the two attachments for my elastics that I meant to put on yes meant to put on because 
I don't like wearing them and I'm throwing my toys out the pram because oh yeah, I just, I do forget, but I have some on the way. So when they arrive, they will be going on and I'll have them in my mouth. And my orthodontist did say it's not essential because my teeth are moving quite rapidly, but it just helps when I have them in. There has been about a two month delay, so eight week delay on the process of me completing Invisalign just purely because of appointments and yeah, trying to sort it around to all of our schedules. So, so I'm okay with that. It's been okay. It's Invisalign is just a new part of my life and I actually have a few bits that I might I might do a sort of Invisalign starter pack maybe over on my TikTok or something I could do it on here too about the things that I found that help me that I take everywhere with me that just helps the process to be a bit smoother and easier smoother <laughs> honestly when I put new trays in it just the saliva is real my lips get so dry and I don't know if that's because of the aligners or I'm, I'm not I'm not too sure actually so anyway let's go grab Roo let's go see what he looks like we didn't ask for a full take off all the hair because he was becoming a hairy boy we've asked for a bit of a tidy up I'm really really excited to see him and let's see how the footage comes out on this new camera one of the best things actually is this Let me it. this is a face tracking feature and basically we are in our ensuite at the minute and if I move around the camera tracks me which is a content creator's dream because I'm at home on my own for the majority of the week and I can't really ask Rupert to film me so this definitely comes in handy look ah! oh the sun's coming out <gasps> exciting one thing I always like to have in the car with me are these green chewies. I just get these off Amazon and, and they're just really helpful to pass some time. You chew on these for about 10 minutes and they just help really set your aligners in place. It does hurt a little bit. It's a really weirdly enjoyable pain. Yeah. That makes those things happen. Like I am one. Podcasting. So surprising. You look so handsome. Look, your little hair on the top's been trimmed. Shall we go inside then? Come on then, let's go in. Hello, handsome boy. Before I get cracking on with work, I wanted to show you last night before we watched The Apprentice, I thought, oh my gosh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make some shortbread, chocolate chip shortbread cookies. Oh my gosh, that smell. Amazing. I've got a few here that I put to the side. I stacked this up for my mum, dad, granddad, and sister. I'm going to take that over to them. And shortbread cookies are something that always reminds me of my grandma. I feel like it was the first ever recipe I used to do with her and she used to let me do the crumbling and I loved it so much. I love getting messy. I loved it getting everywhere. We'd even nibble a little bit of it. And one thing she always told me was the scraps that you have left over always put it back together and make some make some smaller ones they're the full size ones that I've made I've saved two for Josh and I to have tonight whilst we're finishing off all the packaging and I'm gonna have one of the small ones now with my cup of tea before I crack on with some work mmm I am currently on day one of changing my aligners over so my teeth are a little bit sore but they are too good to pass up the opportunity mmm this little number does not determine my worth. You're not supposed to fit into clothes. Clothes are meant to fit you. A little side note, these River Island trousers sell out all the time and I know why. How gorgeous is this golden hour sunset? How gorgeous does the golden hour look? Hmm. Gosh, it's so sunny. But it's been a couple of hours since I last updated you all. I've done some work. I've edited up one reel that I've actually just posted. I was just like, you know what? I love this so much. Let's just upload it on Instagram. Posted it on Instagram. And it's all about how clothes are meant to fit you. You are not supposed to fit into the clothes. I have spent so many years trying to squeeze into something that just doesn't fit me. And I really do think it's come from when I was a kid and always like constantly comparing the size I had on my PE kit to my friends or the fact that I was in women's size clothing a lot earlier, probably in my teens rather than being in a 10 to 11 or 12 to 13. It's so strange, isn't it? How we 
determine our worth by the number on a little label. It makes no sense. Clothes are meant to fit you, not the other way around. Go get a bigger size, go get a smaller size, whatever makes you feel comfortable and confident in. Do it for your body because it's the only body you got, the only home you've got for life, so make the most of it. <laughs> highly, highly recommend getting this warmth fragrance from m and I'm gonna spray it again because she smells heavenly. Oh, apparently it's the Santel 33 Lalabo dupe. Dupe, dupe, apparently it's the dupe. And do you know what? Before I've been asked if I'm wearing Santel 33 and I'm like, no, I am absolutely not. It's from m &S. Before I start packing, I actually have a big bag from Primark. This big Primark bag. And I just wanted to show you a couple of the bits that I picked up. First things first, socks. I picked up so many socks. I've got these thermal with wool socks. There's two pairs there and they were five pounds. I'm thinking these for those cold winter weekends that we still have. Even welly socks. I tend to find that these are great in my hunters. You can't go wrong with the Primark white trainer socks. And then, and then these nicer, same colorway as the thermal ones, but these are some cotton ones that I'm thinking for Pilates. And especially when I'm wearing my leggings just around the house, just to feel nice and cozy. How's that there? I'm just thinking before I lose all of the natural light, the sun is going down. It's just gone five o'clock and the sun is still out. It's still light outside. Oh my goodness, this is the best feeling ever. Resuming with the little Primark haul. A few little home bits. I actually found, how gorgeous is this mug? How gorgeous is this mug? This was three pounds and it's giving me all of the spring vibes. I cannot wait to have a big cup of tea in this mug. I absolutely loved this four pack, I think it is. And we've got some different colors going on. And these were for the pack of four, four pound 50 so just just slightly over a pound each and then I thought these were so fun proper proper farmhouse vibes and they were two pounds 50 really really happy and chuffed with those I'm just showing you a couple of accessories a couple of little bits that I picked up alongside some clothes that I'll show you in a second how stunning is this claw clip this is going to be perfect for my weekend trip i absolutely love the colors and also spring it's just spring and it makes me so so happy i have to say primark had some really really good spring bits in spring summer we're getting there i'm sure i saw some bikinis the first thing that i found i actually found this in the sale and i got it in an xl and it was down to 15 pounds from 25 and it's this barber kind of dupe a lightweight green corduroy neck jacket i know you can't see it fully i was thinking this for our dog walks and especially as fingers crossed the weather is going to get a little bit warmer just something that was a little bit lighter than my big rain jackets that i wear at the minute i'm just picturing myself walking with the dog wellies on on our way to go get a sunday lunch at the pub and it actually goes really nice with the primark jumper that i've got on underneath so yeah this was a big win these cardigans are everywhere how beautiful is this so it was 19 pounds and i picked this up in a large let's try it on there wasn't an xl annoyingly so i'm hoping hoping this fits don't mind me just standing in the most comfiest bra ever this is actually from panty they kindly sent it to me and i love it the problem i thought i was going to have was around my boobs however what do you guys think I'm not too sure. I am thinking it might be nicer undone with a white t-shirt on underneath. So I'm going to keep hold of it for now. Just imagine there's a white t-shirt on underneath. I think this looks so much better. And the quality is actually really, really nice. Then something that I was so excited to pick up. So for Christmas, my best friend Heb actually got me a voucher for a two hour pottery lesson and I said 2024 I wanted to start a new hobby. Pottery's always been something that I have always wanted to do. I absolutely love the movie Ghost and then Ghost was turned into a musical. I was obsessed with the musical and just for the past I'd say a couple of years. I have just had pottery on my mind and I've wanted to do it. I've been pottery painting. I've bought the at-home little sculpt kits and I've loved that. But I really want to learn how to throw pottery on a wheel. Absolutely love watching the Great British Pottery Throwdown as well. That's also been filling the little hole of Bake Off. <laughs> now I picked up some dungarees and I honestly couldn't be happier. So these were where... 
So these were 22 pounds. I picked them up in a 16 and they fit so, so well. They just feel great. And especially for my pottery lessons, I thought I wasn't going to buy some really expensive dungarees. Let's just get some like this that I can wear over and over again. And it doesn't matter if they get that dirty. I am actually thinking about packing these tonight to wear in Lisbon before I start throwing my pottery in them. Maybe, I'm not too sure yet. Then I had to pick up the Viral White Company dupe. We love a dupe over here. I got these in a lard and they were 15 pounds and they are so, so soft. I actually have a pair very similar from F&F &F, and I love those so I'm very excited about these and this actually on the piping it's more of like a satin which feels gorgeous my F&F &F ones don't have that something nice and cozy whilst it's still a little bit a little bit cold at night <laughs> forgot to show you these two in the little home section the scallop edging along the bottom the color I'm thinking out in the garden when we can finally sit out on our garden table and we can host we can have breakfast out there we can have dinner out there lunch we can we can just sit out there all day and I'm really excited to do that. These just bring me so much joy. <laughs> and then something very similar to what I have on now. I am in a bit of a cardigan phase. So it's a bit more of a long line cardigan. The buttons are so gorgeous. And, and I got this in an XL and it was in the sale for £10. And my idea for this was in my leggings when I'm working from home and I just want comfort. Pair with some of those big, thick, chunky socks. <sighs> Heaven. And then finally, a thick white t-shirt now this is from primark's edit so the primark edit and it was 12 pounds it was 12 pounds i got this in a large and when i compare this to my 35 pounds arquette heavyweight t-shirt they literally feel the same so top tip go and get the heavy white t-shirts from primark paired with some jeans with a cardigan or a jumper chucked over the top you cannot go wrong. I'm definitely packing this in the suitcase, ready to wear in Lisbon. So the thing is in Lisbon, we are going at the end of Feb, so it's not peak summer weather. And we've been checking on the weather for the past couple of weeks before we obviously go. And it's been up and down, up and down. At one point it hit 20, then it went down to 12. And now we're sitting at around 16, 17 degrees. So that is quite warm. Over in the UK, that is tropical. So I need to make sure I actually pack for all kinds of the weather just in case, just in case. So now I need to go pack Rupert's bag and pack up the car to go drop him off at my parents. And then I'm going to head back, pack my suitcase, make sure the house is a bit tidy for when we come home from Lisbon. And we are up early, ready to head down to Heathrow and catch our flight. I am so excited for a weekend away. Honestly, I feel like it's been a bit of a long time coming. So make sure you stay tuned for the Lisbon vlog next week. Fingers crossed I get it edited and up ready for next Sunday. I really, really hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Let me know what you think about the quality of this one. Like I said, I am trial and erroring, erroring with it. So if I have to go back to my Sony, I will, and I will use this camera for other things, but I am going to take this camera to Lisbon with me and make the most of it. Who knows, it could be my full-time camera. I'm hoping that it will be. But yeah, it's been so easy to use and I can't wait to use it in other situations. That's it for now. I'm going to sign off this vlog Vlog. love you and leave you hope you're all having the best day wherever you are whenever you're watching this and i will see you all in the next video Mwah. bye